We just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. Happy New Year. It is New Year's Eve. Very exciting. We're rolling into 2015. We've got a lot to look forward to. This video is going to be the final March to the King video for 2014. Yes. As we roll into 2015, look forward to a brand new year of wonderful movies as we continue a very long march to Godzilla 2018 with a pit stop in 2016, hopefully. Hopefully we don't have to wait too long for that movie to come to us, maybe early 2017. So this video, the topic is going to be Mega Godzilla and any potential chance or would he fit into 2018, that world? You know, I, I still got Lenny here. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> So, all right, so here's the deal. This is a topic I've been asked about for, like, probably ever since the end of the 2014 movie. Like, you know, I would say, like, uh, late June as the movie started to wind down. And I I'm going to admit, I've been dodging doing this kind of video because, you know, I'm a huge Mechagodzilla fan. He's one of my favorite villains. Probably, you know, I tend to flip-flop a lot between him and Ghidorah. Like, Ghidorah will be number one, and then Mechagodzilla will be number one. But the reason I really haven't brought this up is because... The truth hurts for me, too. <laughs> and here's the truth. I don't... Uh, look, we don't know what's going to happen in the future. You know, we might see... A lot of people are thinking, especially if you're a Mechagodzilla fan, this is what I keep hearing a lot of, is that Ghidorah, Rodan, and Mothra will be in the second movie, and that Mechagodzilla will be in the third. Uh, now, the first time I heard this theory was on this bullshit website called KD... Whatever. I don't even know. It starts with a KD. A lot of you guys will know exactly what I'm talking about. And ever since then, that, for some reason... That little story has been spawning this hope that that's how it'll turn out. Now, granted, we actually don't have a confirmed third movie yet. We have a confirmed second movie. Uh, they have spoken about a trilogy. They just haven't confirmed it. Now, uh, you know, if <sighs> here's here's why I don't see Mechagodzilla in any of the legendary movies. And I would be more than happy to be wrong because I, I love Mechagodzilla. I would love to geek out. But here's problem number one. Pacific Rim. I know what you guys think. Why Pacific Rim? Well, in Pacific Rim, you see the government, you see the world create robots to counter kaiju. So what that's going to do is, even though it has nothing to do with the Godzilla universe, even though it has nothing to do with Godzilla at all, audiences are going to question why would they build a robot like Godzilla when they can just build a regular robot like they did in Pacific Rim. That's the number one thing you're going to hear. And it would hurt the movie. It would, it would really bring it down to cheese fest. And I know people have, I've told this people, they keep arguing with me and, and, you know, but Rob, they can make it work. They can't make it work. It doesn't make sense. And you guys have to remember something. I'm going to play a clip that I think a lot of people, well, I can tell a lot of people didn't see, which I'm surprised. This is a pretty cool clip from another guy who does, I guess he does some YouTube channels and, uh, or YouTube videos, I should say. And in this clip, Gareth tells you in his own words, who he made this movie for. Take a look. I mean, <laughs> you say that your new film is a love letter to fans like us who love the original. <laughs> um, you know my answer to that really is is that as much as I want to make a film for the fans, which I do being one, is I'm making it for non-fans. I'm making it for people who don't couldn't care less about Godzilla, so that when they come, they become converted into fans. Because I think that's the best case scenario: is that the people who love Godzilla at the end of this film is like just growing massively. So I was kind of targeting them as much as anybody else. Uh, but I think you'll be. I mean, I hope you'll be happy. Sure, I uh, have a lot of fun. So there you have it. He's not making it for us. He's making it for the general audience, okay? That's why this Godzilla movie was successful to some of us G-fans and was a disappointment to some others. He's not making this movie for us. He wants the general audience to be interested. Why? Because the general audience brings the money, not the hardcore fans. The hardcore fans are always a very small percentage. And then on top of that, you're taking in the kaiju genre, which is even a more minuscule percentage compared to comic books. So that's one factor. The other factor, uh, as I said, cheese. I mean, as, as much as I love the old Godzilla movies and Mechagodzilla, and he's had a lot of great battles with Godzilla, especially Mechagodzilla 2, it just would look so fucking weird. You know what I mean? It would look weird. Like, it doesn't look weird when we watch the old movies and stuff like that. But when you consider what they accomplished with the new movie, and then you throw in a big robotic dinosaur or a big robotic mock of Godzilla, it's almost comical. You know what I mean? It's almost like, what the fuck were the humans thinking making this? Like, what were they trying to accomplish? Were they trying to accomplish some sort of communication with Godzilla by building this monster? Were they hoping to see if Godzilla would soften up and maybe try to mate with the... You understand what I'm getting at? Those are the kind of things that are going to happen. And I think this is, you know, I, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm the one with the issue. But I kind of find it hard 
why people can't seem to comprehend the difference of what Legendary's trying to do versus what America did. Now, granted, they're already taking a bold chance with Mothra and Ghidorah. Rodan, not so much. Rodan is very, very, you know, believable. But they're already taking a chance with Ghidorah and Mothra. They have to really walk a fine line, really plan well, and really come up with some good stories. Mechagodzilla? <sighs> that, I mean, you're really pulling at strings when you do that because then you're, you're asking people to either A, believe that an alien race came down from a planet with a mock Godzilla robot to destroy Earth. Not going to happen. No one's going to buy that shit. Or you're asking the America or the governments of the world to get together and build a robot replica of a monster. And while that may sound cool to people, this general audience that's watching Godzilla is the same general audience to a lesser degree that saw Pacific Rim. And they're going to laugh. They're going to say, why the fuck didn't they just build a regular robot? A Godzilla robot makes no sense. So that's why I don't think you'll see Mecha Godzilla. Would I like to see it from a hardcore Godzilla fan perspective and just loving the cheese factor and not giving a fuck about anyone else and what they think? Yes, I would love to see it. But as I've said to many of you on the Nation Facebook page and people who have spoken to me personally, I am a Godzilla fan first and foremost. It doesn't matter if he's legendary. It doesn't matter if he's Toho. The name, the character, that is who I want to see progress. That is who I want to see continue on. That is who I want to see on the silver screen. And for that to happen, the general audience has to like it. It does. It does. And it's more important to me that I get the Godzilla character to continue on with movies than it is for me to get a man in a rubber suit made by Toho because it's nostalgic. You know what I mean? That's the fan I am. That's the kind of fan I am. I am more concerned about the character and where the character goes, whether it's made by Toho, whether it's made by Legendary. I don't give a shit. As long as it's moving forward and progressing and other people of different generations can enjoy it and people and it can develop new fans and continue to live on, that's the most important thing to me. And that's another reason why I do love the Legendary movies because, yeah, even though it had its flaws, and it did, it had many, they did a, such a good job making the character, they put him back on the map, Toho feels confident to make movies again for the first time in 12 years. You got a video game. Everything you're getting now that's Godzilla related is because of that movie. That's what's important is the progression of the monster. The minute you take this series that Legendary has and you start to put cheese in it, that's it. That's it. That's one of the reasons Toho stopped making a movie. Nobody was taking it seriously. So as much as I would love to see Mecha Godzilla, as much as I would adore to see him on screen, it would be one of the best things in the world to see a Legendary version of Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla. But it would fucking bomb. It would bomb. Uh, yeah, us fans would love it, but we could probably consider that the last Godzilla movie in America, and it would only be a matter of time shortly thereafter when Toho says, all right, well, they fucked it up, so that's it. We're not going to waste any more money. So I say, guys, let's, let's enjoy what we got, okay? We already got more than what we expected, getting Ghidorah, Rodan, and Mothra at some point. Um, and I think that's the most important thing. Let's not, you know, let's, let's not bite off more than we can chew. Okay, if you're, if you know, if you love Toho that much, hey, you're getting a Toho movie. If you love them both, then great. And if you, if you're the kind of fan like I am, that the most important thing for you is to see the monster progress, this is how it's going to happen. So, and last thing I want to say too is as far as the sequel goes, we're unsure as to whether or not these three monsters are going to be in that movie because Legendary's exact tweet after the whole announcement was Rodan, Mothra, and Ghidorah would be in future Godzilla sequels, meaning more than one. So we don't know what their plans are. Um, I don't personally think they'll put Ghidorah in the second movie along with Rodan and Mothra and Godzilla. I think that's a bit much for a second movie. But because um, that's three origins you got to explain. That's a lot. And two of them are going to be difficult. So I don't see them throwing all three of those monsters in there because I don't think they're going to have the time to set up their origins to set up their or explain where they came from. And on top of that, a three-headed golden dragon and a moth. That's a lot to ask for a second movie. So I think it's going to be more broken down if they decide to go with the trilogy. That's what they're going to do. Anyway, guys, so that's it for this video. That's my thoughts on Mechagodzilla. I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer. I'm just trying to be realistic, and I'm just trying to explain to you guys that I want Godzilla to go forward. And to go forward, there's some things that, that, that got to go. And there's some things that are not going to work here in America. They're not. For the general audience, absolutely not. So um, I guess what I'm trying to say is just try to look at it from a different perspective. Don't look at it as a hardcore fan. Look at it, unfortunately, look at it from a business standpoint. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, and you'd probably lose the audience that you worked so hard to gain in 2014, and they don't want that. They want to gain more audiences so they can fund the third movie. So, anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Have a happy new year, and I will see you soon. This is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Take it easy. Thank you for watching ETN. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe.
Join the nation's Facebook page to meet other subscribers or visit ETN's Facebook page and Twitter page. Links for all are in the description. You're watching ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. Happy New Year. It is New Year's Eve. Very exciting. We're rolling into 2015. We've got a lot to look forward to. This video is going to be the final March to the King video for 2014. Yes, as we roll into 2015, look forward to a brand new year of wonderful movies as we continue a very long march to Godzilla 2018 with a pit stop in 2016, hopefully. Hopefully, we don't have to wait too long for that movie to come to us, maybe early 2017. So this video, the topic is going to be Mega Godzilla and any potential chance or would he fit into 2018, that world? You know, I, I still got Lenny here. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so, all right, so here's the deal. This is a topic I've been asked about for like probably ever since the end of the 2014 movie. Like, you know, I would say like uh, late June as the movie started to wind down. And I, I'm going to admit, I've been dodging doing this kind of video because... You know, I'm a huge Mechagodzilla fan. He's one of my favorite villains. Probably, you know, I tend to flip-flop a lot between him and Ghidorah. Like, Ghidorah will be number one, and then Mechagodzilla will be number one. But the reason I really haven't brought this up is because the truth hurts for me, too. <laughs> and here's the truth. I don't... Uh, look, we don't know what's going to happen in the future. You know, we might see... A lot of people 